right, guys, we're going to go over some uh, reaction types today. Uh, the first one we're going to have here is copper wire and silver nitrate. So I'm going to come up here and prepare the copper. I just need a little bit of copper. If I take it, take my trusty blue pen, I can wrap it into a coil. Now, if you take this little copper coil and add it to some distilled water, just a little distilled water, what should happen? Well, I'll show you. We're doing different reaction types, and if we take copper and we put it into water, three, two, one, ah, nothing happens. It just gets wet. It's copper, and that's water, so don't be silly about that. If I can get it back out, we'll show you. Wet copper. Now I'm going to take that same copper, and I'm going to make a solution of silver nitrate. And we only need a couple crystals. Couple crystals there, couple crystals here. So I'm making an aqueous solution of silver nitrate. We're gonna let that work for a second. Swirl her around. Now you can see a slight tint maybe on camera. Um, that means there's just impurity in my water. I thought it was perfectly distilled. Apparently not exactly. However, it still is gonna work beautifully. I'm gonna take this copper wire, it's kinda of nice and shiny here. We're gonna dip it in for like, oh, a couple seconds. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand couple seconds. Now, if I get nice and close, I don't know if you can tell, there's some oxidation on it. There's some, well, we're gonna see what actually happens. We're gonna throw it in there. We're gonna let it sit for, oh, five or six minutes. Applying that, we should see the silver nitrate reacting with the copper wire to form two more products. We'll get a picture of what it looks like after it has completed reaction. All right, guys, we're back with demo number two. First one was single displacement reaction where we had copper plus silver nitrate forming a single displacement reaction. Not gonna tell you the answer right now, the products. This one is a double displacement reaction. In this bottle, we have calcium chloride. We've already made an aqueous solution of it, stirred it up real good so it's homogenous. Take the stirring rod out. In this one, we have sodium carbonate. So we're gonna mix calcium chloride with sodium carbonate, and we should see a reaction. As you can see, this one's beautifully clear. This one just a little bit cloudy. But when I pour them together, this is how skim milk is made. Totally kidding, it's, it's not. Skim milk's the skinny cows. All right, but you can see a white substance in there. I mean, it's, it's really white. So now what I'm gonna do here is take our funnel and we're gonna filter this out. We're gonna show you the product. Remember, it was calcium chloride combining with sodium carbonate in a double displacement reaction. The thick, white, cloudy stuff is sticking behind in the filter paper. And as it's dripping through here, it is crystal clear. So our funnel, our filter is doing its job. Again, when it's done uh, filtering out, we'll come back and we'll show you the product. All right, we're back with another demonstration. We're gonna have a little two for one special here. First one we have is a piece of magnesium. The piece of magnesium is gonna go into uh, about six more hydrochloric acid. We're gonna produce a gas. Hopefully it's not the chlorine portion of this or I might not make the next demonstration. So we're gonna make gas evolve from this. Then when we get that gas, I'm going to hold a splint up to it and we're going to see what happens. So to trap the gas, I'm going to use this guy. If I get him out. I'm just going to hold him directly upside down over this other test tube. And it should collect some gas in there. You can see it's kind of going up. I'm going to light my Blend. Through the magic of uh, chemistry, it'll relight itself. Pay no attention to the hand that's coming in. Alright, we should have our splint filled. We heard a little barking spider back there. 
Maybe we can do it again for us. But what we're seeing is that gas is coming up. It's mixing with the oxygen gas in the air. And I, oh, first time was much better because it ran out the linear reagent being the magnesium. Anyways, we had gas produced, put a splint to it. If you listen carefully the first time, you heard a big old bark in there, all right? So that was our second reaction. So the first reaction, magnesium plus hydrochloric acid, produce a gas. That gas mixed with oxygen, we were able to light it on fire. All right, back at you guys with another demonstration. Uh, the last one where we had the hydrogen gas in the test tube with the oxygen, that was a synthesis reaction. And I'm gonna show you another synthesis reaction. Um, this one might be bright, all right? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little piece of magnesium wire, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit so the activation energy from here is gonna allow the magnesium to react with the oxygen gas in the air in a synthesis reaction. Check it out. Getting hot, getting hot. Don't stare at it, no, my eyes. Just kidding, I don't look at it. But you can see it is reacting with the oxygen in the air to make a nice, bright, white looking flame. Now let me turn this off real quick. Oops, wrong way. And this is actually now a powder. So if we look at this, it went from metal to this really delicate white powder. Very cool synthesis reaction. All right, guys, this was our first reaction. We had the copper wire plus the silver nitrate. And if you look real close in there, if I can tilt it a little bit, you can see the copper has changed, okay? We did form another metal, and since the only other metal in there was from the silver nitrate, you could probably figure out what metal we made. But yeah, that was our single displacement reaction. The next reaction was our calcium carbonate with our, uh, Nope, it was calcium chloride and sodium carbonate. I gave you the answer if you were paying attention. And let's see what that stuff actually is. If I take this and I can write on my chalkboard with the stuff I made. And if you didn't hear me earlier, maybe I gave away what it was this time. So we had a single displacement reaction, we had a double displacement reaction. Hey, we're back at you with our last demonstration of the day. It's in a two for one special yet again. In this one, we have potassium chlorate. Awesome stuff. It's in this tube. It's a white powder, all right? And we're gonna decompose it. When we decompose it, we're gonna make two different products. One of the products being potassium chloride. The other one being a gas that we're gonna use for our second part of this reaction. In the second part of this reaction, I'm gonna take some of these Smarties. If you don't believe me, look, they're here. Smarties, pretty delicious. Just had Halloween. Kids didn't like them, so I took them. For my own kids, not little kids on the street. Anyway, just wanted to clarify. We're gonna take, we're gonna heat this up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean quite a bit. We're not gonna add anything to it but heat. And we're gonna have a decomposition reaction, which is opposite of synthesis. We showed you the synthesis earlier. This is gonna be a decomposition. We're gonna take something big and break it down into two or more littler things. Kind of like compost in your garden. I highly recommend compost in your garden. You want to have a good garden. Side note, I know. So as we're doing this here, it's heating up. And it's liquefying, which is different than becoming aqueous. Because we're not adding any water to it. We're just adding the heat and it's breaking down. We're gonna give it another second. Then I'm gonna grab a couple Smarties. I'm just gonna to toss them in there and that's gonna be the second part of this reaction. It's a completely different reaction. We're gonna take the product of the decomposition and use it for our last one. One of my favorites, combustion. So we are completely liquefied in there. We should have a gas coming off, which I can see, but it's probably hard to see on the, on the video. There's a nice gas coming out. It's bubbling down here, nice and hot. We're gonna turn this guy off and We have our combustion, which we're gonna call C6H1206, sugar of sorts, plus oxygen gas. Gonna have a combustion reaction. 
we form two specific products in a combustion reaction. We're going to call this complete combustion. So those are all five reaction types through all the demonstrations you've seen.